BBVA has been a leader in banking uh, around the digitization of banking. And now I think you're positioning the firm to be a leader in sustainability. Why is that important and why do you want to do that? Innovation has been the pillar of our strategy uh, for more than a decade. We gain a competitive advantage with this type of, of investment. We see sustainability as a core integral part of our business. For us, this is a major issue, but it's the biggest uh, business opportunity that we have in front of us. When we see that an innovation is going to be successful from a uh, technological or economic perspective, that's the moment in which banking finance needs to enter into the equation in corporate debt, private finance, or this type of uh, financing. So huge, huge evolution we are envisioning in the capital markets. Well, when I think of a bank, and obviously a bank as large and kind of multinational footprint of BBVA, you're this nexus point between so many different counterparties in financial markets, you know, between large corporations, between hedge funds and traders and private equity funds and individuals, and you were at the center of all of it. How do you view your role in influencing all of those counterparties by virtue of this commitment to sustainability? Our purpose for DBBA is to bring the edge of opportunity to everyone. We bank from the lowest income individuals to the biggest and richest corporations in the world. Globally? Globally. For the decarbonization effort, you need, for sure, big corporations and big governments to play their part. But at the same time, you need all individuals to really do what it's needed to decarbonize. It encompasses the whole population, individuals and companies, and that's where we sit ourselves, at the center of this. Sometimes when people talk about the energy transition and climate change, there's this perception that there's a disjunction between what is commercially the right thing to do and what is altruistically the right thing to do. And I totally disagree with that. I think that's absolutely not the case. I actually think the financial institutions that truly lean into the energy transition and this imperative to decarbonize our global economy are gonna be incredibly well positioned over the next decades and, and centuries. Is that BBVA's view as well? Absolutely. By definition, companies need to pursue profits. Money is scarce for individuals, it's scarce for companies, so we need to make sure this is profitable. How is that possible? Well, good news is that there are already some technologies that work and are profitable. It's about deploying them. One good example is renewable energy, solar, wind, and electric vehicles already has better economics than internal combustion engine vehicles. And well. consumers want it. And consumers want that. So it's better for the environment, it's better for the planet, but it's better, it's better for the pocket of the individual. We also need to keep innovating, discovering new ways of doing cement, steel, changing the way we produce food. So for innovation, you need obviously entrepreneurs, you need money, and very importantly, let's face it, you need public help. That's why um, the initiatives that are being deployed around the world, the Next Generation European Fund or the IRA here in the United States or almost everywhere in the world, the taxpayer through their taxes and through public help needs to also to play their part to cover the gap for technologies that are not yet economically viable. Obviously, partnering with Fifth Wall is unique for a bank to do. How did you look at making you know, this investment and structuring this partnership? Fifth Wall, it's good at taking what we call equity risk. Many of these ventures fail, and that's the way it works. At some point in time, these ventures need more financing, and that's where the banking finance appears. And the way the debt market works, you really need to get your money back with an interest. Otherwise... Low risk. It needs to be low risk. So that's where the partnership between Feedwall and BBVA is a great example of you guys taking a lead in identifying the companies that start having equity funding and at some point in time we're entering with the banking finance when it's really, really low risk. Renewables being deployed in Europe or in the US, they already have leverages of more than 80% because it's already super safe. So it's a journey in which banks like BBA want to be close to these ventures when they start being successful and being there the first bank to help them. We understand with the help of the portfolio companies of Feedwall, for instance, which technologies are working, which technologies are failing. Once we understand this technology, we'll be able to find some of the companies that will use the same technology and change the different sectors in the economy throughout the world. We'll be the first banks that do that, and then all other banks will uh, follow suit. Well, obviously, I'm biased because we love the working relationship with BBBA, but you're really positioning the firm to take advantage of this secular collision between the energy transition and the banking sector 
And I think taking a leadership position there and investing and understanding these new technologies is truly going to differentiate BBVA into the future. So thank you so much for your partnership. Thank you, Brendan. We are very excited as well. Thank you.